Now you've been playing around in Alice and adding some objects to your world, and now it's time to move on to part two. So I want you to just minimize Alice. You don't have to close it, you can just minimize it. And we're going to be working on doing an algorithm for our first program. Now normally you don't really know what your program is going to look like, but you have an idea of what it's going to do. This video is actually going to show you the end result of your first program. Let's just go through the whole thing. All right, that's it. That's going to be your first program. Now what we want to do is write down the algorithm, the steps that we need to complete this program. We've been learning this week about the importance of having an algorithm, knowing what the steps are, and then we're going to be able to take those steps and put them into code. So let's go back into Alice for a second. You don't have to. You can just watch the video. You don't have to get into Alice. I'm going to come back here to edit code, and let's just take a look at what some of the steps are that you can actually do in Alice. I've got the cat here, and let's take a look. The cat can say, it can think, it can move or move toward, move away, move to, it can place, it can turn, roll, turn to face. Here's all the different things that it could do. When I'm writing my algorithm, I want to use some of these words. This is the agreed upon language or programming language. And the more of these words that I use in my instructions, the easier it's going to be to actually do the code. So we're just going to take a look here. I can resize the entire object or just its height or width. I can set an opacity or set the paint color. I can do a lot of different things. I can play some kind of audio. These are the different methods or actions that an object can do in Alice. Just kind of take a quick look here, and these are the words that we want to use in our algorithm. Okay, so I'm going to minimize Alice again. We're going to play this video again. Let me stop it real quick. And we're going to list our algorithm step by step in your document in the section for part two where it says your algorithm. We want to write down everything that it's going to do. Now we don't have to talk about setting up the scene. You can see what it's going to look like and you can take a picture of your scene once you're done. We're just going to write about the steps after we've created this world, what's the first thing that's going to happen. And we can start and stop this video as often as we want to write down these steps. So I'm going to play it and stop it and we're going to write down step one. You can resize the windows on your screen if you want to so you have the video playing and you have your document open so we can be able to work with both of them at the same time. Okay, so you see what happened? The first thing that happened was the cat went forward just a little bit. If we're not sure, I'm going to put it back to the beginning. Let's play it again. Okay, so the cat moved forward. How far did it go? Just a little bit. So I'm going to put here under step one, cat moves forward. Now we know that those were some of the um, methods or actions that our cat can do in Alice. We might want to say how far forward, maybe it's two meters, and this is a number that you can adjust as you go. Now after the cat moves forward, what happens next? Okay, the elephant is turning. You can just say turns like 180 degrees, or maybe you want to say turns to face the cat. That's going to be step number two. Let's play it a little bit again and see what happens next. Okay, now the elephant is speaking, so elephant says, away with you. Okay, let's play it again. And the cat backs up. How far does he back up? Probably as far as he moved forward. So if he went forward two meters, I'm going to have the cat move backward two meters. see what happens. Okay, now the elephant turned to face the camera. So the camera's, you know, looking this direction. And so it's a little hard to know how far he's turning. So instead of trying to guess how many degrees, I'm just going to say that the elephant turns to face the camera. And then we can see that the elephant is speaking again. Elephant says, I can't stand cat. And then he's going to speak again. I really don't like large cats. A 
Okay, now what happened here? We saw the cat and he didn't move, but what he did was resize. Remember, that's one of the methods from Alice. So cat resizes, how much bigger does he get? Maybe two times. Resizes two times bigger. So he can also get smaller. Okay, now the elephant is turning to face the cat again. Okay, now there's a few more steps. When you finish, you should have 14 steps. So I'm just gonna play the video again. I want you to start and stop it as often as you need to get all of your steps finished for this video. If you feel like you need more than 14, you can add more. But that's when I finished this algorithm, I had 14 steps. So let's get that far. I'm just gonna play the video, but I'm gonna stop talking and typing, and I want you to fill in these last steps. Now you can start and stop this as often as you want. I'm gonna play it again. So start and stop, start and stop until you can get all these steps filled in. And when you have all of your steps finished, you want to you are ready to go on to part 3.